There are a lot of weird guns in FPS games, usually with strange mechanics not quite grounded in reality. But there's another type of weird gun you see in FPS games on a regular basis that you're probably much more familiar with. The Humble Revolver. Now what makes a revolver weird in FPS games isn't that they shoot lasers or sonic waves or that they're actually a living creature or anything like that. What's weird about revolvers is their animations. Here's an example of someone shooting a real double action revolver. As they pull the trigger back, two things are happening. First, the hammer is being cocked back. On a single action revolver, you would do this manually with your thumb, but in double action revolvers, this is done by pulling the trigger. At the same time, the cylinder is rotating so that it can place a live round in line with the striker pin. When the trigger is pulled about 80% of the way back, the hammer is cocked and the live round is in place. And in order to actually make it go boom, you then have to pull the trigger the remaining 20%, releasing the hammer and firing the round. That's why it's called a double action revolver, because pulling the trigger performs both the act of cocking the hammer back and releasing it. Double action revolvers are far more common in FPS games than single action because you only have to press a button once in order to fire a round. Whereas with single action, you have to somehow deal with manually cocking the hammer before shooting, which can be a really interesting mechanic, but perhaps not a very fun one. But double action revolvers create a problem. If the goal is realism, then what needs to happen is when the player presses the button to fire, there first needs to be a short animation where the hammer cocks back before it releases and fires off a round, meaning there ought to be a small but noticeable delay between pressing the button to fire and the gun actually going off. For a lot of gamers, this is no problem whatsoever, but for others, it makes shooting revolvers feel slow and unresponsive, and it's interesting to see how game developers deal with this. For example, in Overwatch, they just said screw realism. McCree's revolver skips the initial animation cocking the hammer back and fires the instant you press the button. And only afterwards do you start seeing the hammer and the cylinder move, which makes no sense from a mechanical standpoint, but feels very snappy and responsive. Same thing with the wingman revolver in Apex Legends, and surprisingly, the revolvers in PUBG. Then on the other side of the fence you have guns like the R8 in CSGO and a number of revolvers in Call of Duty games which do have accurate animations, adding some delay, but also making them more accurate to real life. This is generally not an issue with pistols that aren't revolvers since most of the moving parts are hidden inside the metal frame and so it's easier to get away with being slightly inaccurate for the sake of game feel. But it's not so simple when a lot of the most important moving parts are plainly visible for everyone to see. Ultimately, it all comes down to how much importance game developers put on realism. You can't really have a quick and snappy revolver that is 100% realistic, and so a choice has to be made. Fast or slow? Realistic or unrealistic? Which do you prefer? I'm planning to have a revolver in my own game that I'm making, and I'm kind of on the fence about which path I should take. There are pros and cons to each, and I really want to hear your thoughts on which you prefer, so feel free to comment about it down below. Anyways, that is why revolvers are surprisingly weird in FPS games. Like, subscribe, bell, Twitter and Discord links down below, and as always, have a nice day.